pumps. They come in all shapes and sizes, and they're essential to all industries that move liquids. Industries such as refining and chemical processing, water treatment and distribution, and utilities, to name a few. Pumps are used to move raw materials through various processing steps and to move the liquids that control processing, such as cooling water. Without pumps, transporting liquids through pipelines would be impossible. A pump may be defined as a mechanical device that adds energy to a liquid. The energy to drive the pump may be provided by an electric motor, a steam turbine, or an internal combustion engine. In any case, a pump must be viewed as being part of a complete system, consisting of the liquid supply, the suction line, the pump and driver, and discharge line. As we'll see later, each part of the system affects the operation. There are several types of pumps, but generally they can be placed into two classifications, positive displacement and centrifugal. Positive displacement pumps operate by reducing the volume of space within the pump that the liquid can occupy. The piston forces the liquid from the cylinder into the discharge line. This type of positive displacement pump is called a reciprocating pump. Centrifugal pumps move liquids by increasing their speed rather than displacing or pushing them. Exactly how this is done and the variables affecting the operation are the main points of this program.